guys and welcome back to some more Limbus Company. Today we have two things we're going to be talking about. We have a brand new roadmap, which we'll get into after we check out the brand new IDs, which is Maid Ryoshu, aka Nelly Ryoshu, and then we have Maid Ishmael also. We've been waiting for these IDs. I am happy that they are real, and we are going to dive into this. So if I seem a little bit tired, you know why. I mean, I literally just woke up. It's freaking 6 a.m. So here we are. So please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's check these two IDs out. And I'm very ready, and just so you know, before I start the video, I'll probably say some things regarding Chapter 6, spoiler-wise, with many different things, so if you haven't played it yourself or watched it, you probably don't want to watch this video. Just let that be known. Limbo's company. Looking at this immediately with a closer look, I'm happy. <laughs> I am very happy. This is, listen, it's simple, but effective. Okay, simple but effective. That is all. Crank this up a little bit. Tin with a broom. I'll slice and dice them to pieces like a nice piece of steak bites. I like steak bites. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy steak. So I, I, I enjoy some steak bites. So wait, immediately, what I'm seeing. Let's just run it, run it, run it back. You get bonked with a broom, and then immediately she's throwing the freaking knives, like in the 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 Nelly boss fight. Yeah, those. Oh my god, that that boss fight. <laughs> That boss fight had me feeling some type of way, bro. Literally. Yeah, you get checked. That art is so good. Bro. I'm sure Master won't even know notice what happened tonight. Bro. This art is sick. Oh my god, okay, sorry. Anyways, anyways. The coolest looking maids you're gonna see. <sighs> How is this acceptable? Would you like to be subject to- Oh my lord. Listen, we don't need to slice anybody's neck clean okay we don't we don't need to do that okay actually no go for it in in the video game youtube in the video game okay so immediately i'm gonna think of a word other than peak um what's another word i could use because i feel like we we use peak too much for this game which i mean a lot of moments are peak let's go with the word exceptional okay we'll switch it up a little bit let's let's, let's um Let's make the vocabulary a little bit more diverse. <laughs> Bro. Nah, I'm not letting that animation slide. You did not do it, I think you just did. So, she lunges in. Lunges in first off. She still- Oh, I love the fact that she still has her sword there like that. She actually still has her sword. So she- She kicks- why was I about to try to kick my foot up? Like, anybody's gonna be able to see that. She kicks the blade up on her foot. Like, off of her foot. Catches it. With three- Three! Three blades. All land in between her freaking fingers. Did she just pull a knife out of a freaking briefcase? Hey, I got something for you. <laughs> What? Yep, and even even in this, there's spoilers. Very well, it's about time we put an end to this Heathcliff. You see? Oh my gosh. Nah, bro, this art is cold. Look how terrified this dude is back here on the right side. You see that? Me, I'd be smiling. I'd be like... He's gonna see me having the biggest smile on my face, bro. I'm gonna have to use this as the thumbnail. And I am absolutely saving, like I'm saving this picture. This is too good. You have Ish on the side over here. Bro, 
from an animation standpoint, these two, like, oh my god. We, 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 we're, we're gonna look back at Ryoshu's animations one more time. His clip. <laughs> a housekeeping chore. Damn. Nah, bro. No. I need to see this again. Like both, I'm getting both. I'm getting both 100%, but I'm gonna just let this rock out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let this. Well, that's the end of it, whoops. I'm gonna let it play from right here and let it do its thing. Goes in, the slice picks up on the foot, three blades. The goofiest thing to me is pulling out a briefcase that has a freaking knife in it. But that is a crazy looking knife. And then, like I said, she's still got the sword on deck. Glowing red eyes. Made, listen, listen. Made Ryoshi. Whatever you need, I got you. I know, and I, I know, I know she's the maid, but listen. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. I'm sold. Um, if I could get multiple copies in it, uh, it gave some type of bonus, I would. <laughs> oh my god. This is probably gonna go down as one of my favorite IDs of all time, and I don't even know statistically what she does yet. But people are probably gonna bleed. Probably. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. That was that was literally everything you could have wanted from these IDs and more. So I'm I'm good. And I, and like, if, if this wasn't 6 in the morning, I'd probably be, like, screaming, going unga bunga. But just know I'm happy, okay? Like I said, I'm tired, but I'm happy. So, we have those IDs that are coming out, what, next week? We'll get those. But now, this is what I want to talk about. We have a brand new Season 4 roadmap. Um, I think I could click over here so we could get a closer look. Yes, this is actually a closer look. So, we just had Chapter 6 of Limbus Company. The heartbreaking Clear All Kathy. Once again, I am going to talk about spoiler stuff. I'm letting you know if you did, if you skipped past the beginning of the video. So if you hear spoiler and you didn't listen, that's on you. So, this Kanto, amazing, dude. I felt emotional in it, it actually resonated with me personally. Um, it even almost made me, like, get, like I was getting teary-eyed a little bit, like, at the very end when those credits were rolling. Um, rest in peace, Kathy. I know y'all are gonna meme in the comments and be like, who, who is that? But I'm just gonna say rest in peace. Cause it's like, she never, she never even existed at all. She was never there, nobody remembers except for freaking Dante and Heathcliff. And man, the twists and turns that they had in this freaking canto were crazy. The stuff with Virgilius pulling up. He came back with the milk from the gas station. He had his moment. He beat the allegations. The fraud allegations that people had for him. I always believed in you, Virgilius. <laughs> um, so many beautiful things. The Castlevania type music in this. The difficulty in this that they just nerfed by the way if you, you're not aware they did just nerf this that that canto which i expected as much i even said it in the stream before somebody told me that they were planning on doing it i knew it was gonna happen because it's something that typically does happen so i beat this pre-nerf with the help of chat at some points thank you chat okay i'm not gonna act like i did it completely by myself so an amazing canto and just one of my favorites honestly because it was just so tragic, man. It was tragic. And they had me guessing constantly. So thank you for that. <laughs> um, and there's so like there's multiple references to Leviathan, which I need to read down the line. So you Leviathan readers, I know you had a blast with that. So then that goes into Mirror Dungeon 4, the Mirror of the Wuthering. I beat Mirror Dungeon 3, both the normal and hard mode. We'll stream 4. Simple. Then we have this. Killing, well, time killing time. And you see they all have some, like, Detective Sherlock Holmes type, um, fits on. You also see that it is unvoiced, so it's a side event, but it's going to be relevant still. 
chapter 6.5 so that means i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to voice act this like i've done in the past which is fine um even though i'd love it to have voice acting but in order to get content out quicker this is what they've been doing for a while um i am very very excited for that because the side events have been solid in this game so we'll see what's going on what type of murder mystery and then refraction railway 4 masquerade i actually haven't played 3 yet still um before 4 comes out i'm gonna try to stream 3 or make a video it's i i don't know what it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the two I'll either record the footage and turn it into a video or we'll just straight up stream it but um i've heard 3 was better than 2 the way that they set it up i also heard that sinking is very very good well no actually is it sinking or rupture my bad it might have been rupture that people said was really good in refraction railway three i don't remember <laughs> one of those is good i feel like it's rupture so we'll see what happens there and then i see the masks in the back and such i'll probably end up molding i always do in refraction railway and then we have the chapter 6.5 event Murder on the Warp Express. Y'all know how I feel about warp trains. I don't like them. I know everybody's like, but 99% of the time, nothing bad happens. I don't care. I don't. Okay? Lo listen, uh, into Library of Ruin and stuff for a second. Love Town. I know we're not supposed to talk about it. But it has left an impact on me that will not be forgotten and I ain't messing with it not at all <laughs> okay not doing it uh and the fact that it says murder on the warp express proves my point again something bad is gonna happen there but that th th this should be really good this is the final thing that we'll get before we get into chapter seven and this dude is gonna be great um, I wonder what time frame this is going to drop around. This is... Okay, look. Like, if I had to take a guess. Okay, so we're in what? April? And before I talk more about tra Chapter 7, I just want to take a guess in it. So, let's say Mirror Dungeon 4. Let's say it drops next week. I'm just going to take a guess. We're still in April. This won't probably drop until... What? June? Let's say this is... I'm, and I'm being optimistic with all this. Let's say July, let's say August or September. I feel like what, October? But would this be October? I don't know, my time frame, I could be completely wrong with all of this. I'm just taking guesses here. If we're doing stuff every month and then maybe a two month break before we get to this point or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna say what, October-ish? For chapter 7, the dream ending, Dawn's chapter, if you didn't know, somehow. I mean, now you know. Um, this is going to be really interesting. And I see they have like the little um, merry-go-round type thing or whatever you call this. Uh, with, that they had in like Dawn's initial art when they were doing promos for the game. They got this carnival thing going on. I haven't read the book of Dawn, so I'm going into this blind. I don't remember what it's about, even though I read it, like, well, I watched a video of a little bit of information on each character, like back when I first started playing Lumbus, but I legit don't remember anything. Um, Dawn has become one of my favorite characters. Like, if not my favorite character. It is like neck and neck between um, her and Ryoshu. Because every time she's on screen, she just ends up stealing that scene, stealing the show quite literally. I don't know what they're going to have her go through. I know she has a huge fixation on fixers, you know, it's funny, uh, fixation fixers. Anyways, um, and she looks at them, like she idolizes them and stuff. So I want to see um, if it was from a very like young age, like going into her childhood and stuff, what she went through stuff because i know this is gonna be really trippy probably gonna be twisted but i'm ready and the fact that i know 
like nothing, I feel like it's gonna really change my experience with this. Because my expectations, I don't know what to expect except for the writing to be really good, you know? So Dawn, Gre the, the, the freaking Gremlin chapter, Canto 7, that will be on the later half of this year for sure. But not the very end of the year, but later half. So we'll most definitely be there for that, and that's going to be amazing. Um, what else do I want to say here? I, I like this roadmap. I think it's good. It has a lot of things that pique my interest in it, of course. And it will. I know it will drop in a timely manner because there's no voice acting for these two events. So you're, they're just able to get stuff out quicker. So Olympus has been cooking. The future looks good. Um, I do want to say, I feel like for the difficulty side of things... It's completely fine for the game to be difficult. I don't mind. If there's some things I need to get tweaked with a little bit, that's okay too. They do it for any game. But I see this, like, I don't want to say war between people, but like this um, conflict between people over there. They're like, oh, uh, we shouldn't be changing the difficulty at all. If you can't play it, just watch a YouTube video. I saw somebody say that to somebody earlier. And I'm just like, I... I want the game to still be a challenge, absolutely, but at the same time, you want your game to be accessible to people, right? Not everybody's playing this game every day and is going to be able to get all these IDs up, because there was some boss fights in Kanto 6 that were very difficult, and if you didn't have some units leveled up, you were cooked. I'm not going to lie, there was definitely some points in there, like this This was a difficult Kanto at times. Um. But I think it's fine. Like, here, here's my thing. Make a easy mode. And then make a mode that could be, like, normal. In Project Moon uh, definition of normal, which is difficult. You know? So, I, I'd say do something like that. Because they do it for other games. I think they even do it for, like, Arknights. Of where, um... They have, like different difficulties for main story they have like very hard they have like normal and then they got um like easy so that way people that just want to enjoy the story but still play through the stages and stuff they could do it i don't think that's a bad thing if you have both options because the, the, re the reason why the, the people who like the really difficult stuff um or normal so to speak which i also enjoy it even though sometimes i'm old um the reason why they get mad is because you're patching the whole boss fight. You're, you're patching, like, the update that rolls out is for everybody. So, let's say you didn't get to play Kanto 6 yet, for instance. Which you shouldn't be watching this video right now, because I've literally said that they're spoilers. But, um, let's say you didn't. Next thing you know, you go in and you want a challenge, they just made stuff easier. They dumbed it down, they've done it multiple times. And now you're just like... Oh, I guess I should have played it earlier, huh? <laughs> That's happened to people. There's people that enjoy that challenge. You know, me included. Um, so, yeah, I feel like they're gonna just have to roll out two difficulties. Make it very, like, make an easy mode. And there's, I don't know, have some base rewards there. And then if you play the game on normal, the difficulty, so to speak, um... Maybe you get more rewards or something like that. Not anything crazy, like, um, that would, like, really hurt the other player base, but maybe give us more XP, um, you know, stuff like that, like, or, a, like, a, a bit more lunacy or something, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I would say. So it's like, hey, you wanted to play on easy, you're still gonna get rewards and you get to play through the story, but just be aware that the people that are playing on higher difficulties, they're gonna get more stuff than you. But the story remains the same, just gameplay difficulty is different. Problem solved. <laughs> Literally, problem solved. That way, at the end of the day, both audiences, you know, you have your more casual audience with it, or just they just don't feel like dealing with unga bunga hard difficulty, and then you have the people that enjoy it. Both sides are happy. So I think some point this year, just do that. Honestly, I'm not gonna kill you. And other gotchas do it. So I don't, I don't see it as a bad thing, because both audiences will be happy. So I don't know, y'all let me know your thoughts with that specifically. But other than that, Limbus, you're looking good. 
I love what y'all are doing out here, Project Moon. Cannot wait for the future of this game. And yeah, there is no summer themed event this time around, which is fine, considering everything that happened last time. <laughs> um, so I mean, I'm, I'm completely fine taking this this murder mystery type of thing. And it's great that that Ryoshu, I think, is that like a mustache? Is that like a fake mustache she has? Or is that a pipe in her mouth? I, I don't know, I can't. It might be the mustache. But anyways, appreciate y'all for watching. I've yapped for too long now, so I'm gonna get out of here. It is way too early for this. But uh, yeah, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts. Excuse me, what are you most excited for on this roadmap? Let me know. Um, For me, chapter, I mean, I, I feel like it'd be such a basic thing to say chapter seven, but you know, chapter seven, the dawn. But if I had to choose something else, warp train. Definitely. But yeah, until the next one, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as I always do say, don't do crack. to the special K experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.